All right, so what I would recommend doing for these problems is to kind of graph them all on the same graph and then start eliminating where they stand and where they don't stand. So first of all, negative 3x minus x. It might be easier to kind of look at that in just like a y equals mx plus b format, just to kind of, because that's how we've practiced graphing before. So I can rewrite that as negative x minus 3. So therefore, I can understand that's negative 1 over 1x one minus 3, right? If I gave you an equation like this, more, most, more of you, most of you would be easier to say, oh yeah, I can graph that. But if I put it in this format, you're like, I have no idea how to graph that. So convert it to maybe a format that's a little bit easier for you to represent. Find the y-intercept, which is negative 3. And then we either go down 1 to the right 1, or we go up 1 to the left 1. Correct? The slope is either going down and to the right, or you could go up and to the left. Same, give me the same line. Um, then I have, I'm going to skip, uh, let's just do one actually, one right here. Whenever you're graphing numbers, oh, so that graph looks something like that. Then we have a number. Well, how do you graph a number? y equals 1. Well, what does y equal? 1. When x equals 5, what does y equal? When x equals negative 10, what does y equal? 1. y always equals 1. That's a horizontal line. Then we have x squared, which that graph was provided to you. It's right here. If you remember in algebra 2, that's over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's our U-shaped graph. OK, so now I graphed all the functions. And obviously, using a pencil would be helpful using, it, using this technique. Um, now I'm just going to erase where the function is not defined. It says, only graph my line for x values that are less than 0, right? So less than or equal to 0. So therefore, I'm only going to go to values where x is negative, correct? So everything over here, I'm going to erase. Then it says only graph the, the number 1, the graph 1, between values of 0 and 1, right? So everything that's less than 0, I'm going to erase. Everything that's greater than 1, I'm going to erase. And then also note that that is an open circle now. Do you guys see the difference of equal to 0 and not equal to 1? Open circle, closed circle. Correct? Or open point, closed point. Do you understand? OK. Then it says graph x squared for all values greater than or equal to 1. So any value that's greater than or that's less than 1, I'm just going to erase. However, it's greater than or equal to. So if you remember, the equation x squared goes over 1, up 1. So that is a point. So that's going to be filled in. So that's what your graph would look like. Yes? Discontinuity. Yep. Well, the where does the point? Yeah, the point of discontinuity is at 0. When x equals 0, there is a discontinuity. Right? However, um, did I write that wrong or is that? That's not a function. Oh, wait, 0. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry about that. I wrote that wrong. I was looking at the wrong problem. There you go. Sorry about that. Now, this is a function because there, there's not two points. That was actually less than, so that was an open circle. Sorry about that. Now, this is really important, though, because if I want to find the domain, how far to the left does the graph go? Infinity. And then even though we have a discontinuity, it's not an asymptote or a whole discontinuity because watch. As I go to 0, do we have a value for x at 0? Yes, right there, right? And then we jump up here. So any value greater than 0 is up here. 
and then it continues on forever. So the domain is negative infinity to infinity. The range, how low does this graph go? Negative 3, which is included. And then how high does it go? Infinity. And you could say, well, there's a hole here. But yes, there's also values where it's equal to, right? Um, the last thing I just want to mention to you real quick is let's go back to our summer assignment. If I said f of 4, which function would you plug that into? The top, middle, or bottom? The bottom. Why? Because where's 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. Which equation is dealing with 4? The bottom, x squared, because x squared is, has to be greater than or equal to 1. What if I said find f of negative 2? Top, middle, or bottom? Top, because at negative 2, there's my function right there. Which function is that? It's that top one. Why? Because this is for all values that are less than negative 2, right? Now, um, so that would be negative 3 minus negative 2. And then if obviously if I said, what's f of, hmm, let's say this, what's f of 1 half? Right, so what's the answer? 1. Because 1 half is between 0 and 1, right? Well, you can't plug in anything in for 1. The answer is just 1, right? Where that's that. There we go. OK? Yes, question. <coughs> 